We're going to dive into a little deeper subject this morning, which is human trafficking. Now here in Monroe County, we have an organization known as the Keys Coalition. I've talked about the Keys Coalition before on the show. This group is on a mission to raise awareness about sex trafficking. They held their second rally this past January, and we all heard from a detective in Fort Lauderdale who actually rescued two Monroe County girls who were taken into Fort Lauderdale and forced into sexual slavery. Now, they were prostituted by two different pimps, and thankfully both of these pimps received very heavy prison statements. We're going to talk more about this issue this morning with Tyson Elliott. He is the head of human trafficking at the Department of Juvenile Justice. Tyson, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you morning. for having me. <laughs> now, Tyson, why don't you start by telling our viewers about your background? Uh, well, my background, um, I worked in law enforcement for about 12 and a half years. I worked for the Osceola County Sheriff's Office for about seven years in Kissimmee. And then I moved north and moved to the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, which is up in Gainesville. And uh, between those two sheriff's offices, I was uh, a detective for about seven to seven and a half of those years. And my, my caseload was investigating child abuse, sex crimes, and human trafficking. Mm -hmm. And uh, also while in Alachua County, I started a human trafficking task force, which uh, was comprised of local law enforcement and federal law enforcement and a lot of our partnering agencies, a lot of our <coughs> community providers in the, the Alachua County area. And um, about two years ago, a little over two years ago, I, I moved on from that position and, and uh, moved over to the Department of Children and Families and became the statewide human trafficking coordinator. And uh, then in January this year, I uh, moved over to the Department of Juvenile Justice for my, for my current position. Okay. Now, why do you personally feel that it's important to be involved with raising awareness about human trafficking? Well, I feel that uh, human trafficking is similar to domestic violence in a lot of ways. We are, we as a human trafficking community can relate to where domestic violence was about 20 to 30 years ago. A lot of people knew that domestic violence was around, but maybe we didn't call it domestic violence. Maybe uh, there was that type of mentality where they would always say, why doesn't the victim just leave? Why doesn't he or she just leave? And they didn't must maybe necessarily understand all the dynamics involved. And you know, we gave it a name and we, we gave a lot of our professionals training around the state. And now it's kind of part of our community. You know, everyone understands what it is when they see it. They understand the dynamics. There's no blame on the victim for not leaving sooner. They, they understand it. And human trafficking is kind of at that same point where we, we've always had human trafficking, but now we've, we've given it a name and we're trying to get training out to our to professionals out in the community so they can properly identify it, investigate it, and then hopefully provide some services for the victims. Do you believe that human trafficking exists down here in Monroe County? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now there have been no reported cases, mm -hmm. correct? But why do you feel that, that it happens then? Well, human trafficking, like most crime, is a crime of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And Florida has a lot of opportunity for criminal activity. Human trafficking will lend itself to certain types of industries. Agricultural industry, the tourism industry, the sex industry, human trafficking, just the, the way that it, it works, it, it lends itself to those industries. And you obviously have a tourism industry here in town. And what I try to tell people around the state is do not measure your your rate of a particular crime by how much it's in the newspaper or on TV. You, you can't use that as your measuring stick as to whether you have that crime present or not. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's such an easy crime right now to facilitate and it's kind of flying underneath a lot of people's radars right now mm -hmm. that it's a very lucrative business. And with the tourism industry here, there's I don't have any doubts that you have human trafficking here. Mm -hmm. Now, I talked a little bit earlier about the Keys Coalition. Mm -hmm. The Keys Coalition actually received a little bit of heat because since there were no reported cases, people kind of said, well, what's the point of having an organization like that down here? What is your take on that? Well, that's, that's not a uncommon reaction from communities around the state and probably around the country. But what I would say would be Human trafficking is 
unlike other crimes in, in many respects. If, if you were to, to go home and your house was broken into, you would call law enforcement and make a burglary report and, and they would come out and, and do the appropriate paperwork. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking victims do not identify as a victim of a crime. Mm -hmm. They may not understand the term human trafficking and maybe have never heard it before. They don't self-identify as a victim, so they're not going to call law enforcement and say, hey, can you please send a deputy or a police officer out to write a report because I'm a human trafficking victim. Mm -hmm. So since they're not going to report it, that means that the community, including law enforcement, has to proactively go look for those victims, mm -hmm. which means if you're going to go look for them, you're going to need some training or awareness to go look for them so that you can properly identify them and find them, which will in turn start to generate numbers and data, which is typically what everybody wants. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break right now, but we're going to talk more about human trafficking this morning and talk about indicators that someone might be sexually exploited. So thank you so much for being on. We'll be right back after these messages.